Um, I'm going to explain to you what calculus really is, why it exists, and what it's all about. Now, if you want to find the slope between two points, there's a simple formula, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Actually, that's really what calculus is all about. I'm going to explain. We know that distance equals rate times time. So the rate or speed will equal distance over time. So if we have a car that's starting here and getting to this spot, of course, you know, say a couple hundred feet or a couple hundred yards, um, and this car is constantly accelerating, meaning getting faster and faster and faster, how can we determine its speed? Well, if I have a stopwatch and I click here when the car starts and it gets a little faster each time and gets to here, all right, I would take the distance, divide it by the time that it took, and I would get the speed or the rate. Okay, that's fine. What that really does is give you an average speed. Now, I started here. If I start here and time the car, it's going to be going a little bit faster. All right? So if I take the time that it took, divide it into the distance, it's going to be a little bit faster. Well, what if I start here? Okay, all right, now the car is going still a little faster. All right, I'm going to take the distance divided by the time that it took, and I'm going to get the rate or speed because distance divided by time equals rate. So I got the rate here or the speed. I got it here, it got faster. I got it here and it got faster. So a lot of times I tell my students, so it's going to get faster and faster and faster and faster. So eventually it's going to get up to a million miles an hour. And students usually say, yeah, that's right, even honor students. That happened today, okay? And it's not true, okay? There's gonna be a limit. So when you introduce limits, okay, this is, this is the purpose of a limit. So basically, so far, here's what we know. It's gonna get faster and faster and faster and faster, but not infinitely fast, okay? But what we do, we need two points to be able to determine the speed, okay? And that's what algebra and geometry are all about. Okay, so here it gets faster, here it gets faster, here it gets faster, and here it gets faster. But the thing is, we need two points. Well, in comes calculus, right? Calculus, okay, is going to get the limit, okay, as that, um, as that distance gets smaller and smaller and smaller, and actually calculate its instantaneous speed, which I'm going to show in a few moments. So that's why calculus is so, is so important. You are basically finding the slope of a tangent line with only one point. In the, in the beginning of this video, I said that it takes two points to be able to determine what the speed is. Okay? So calculus is another area. It's way above everything else, but it starts with your algebra too. Thank you.